Hi, Dr. Michael DiMattina, Medical Director and Founder of Dominion Fertility in Arlington, Virginia. So patients ask me all the time, and you probably ask yourself, how many IVF procedures should I undergo in order to get pregnant? Well, the good news is hopefully just one IVF procedure will produce your baby. And in this day and age, that's not uncommon. There was an article published in the American Medical Association a few years back that looked at the data from people who went through IVF from 2003 to 2010. And it was uh, IVF that was studied in Europe. And what they found was in order to get 65% of the patients pregnant, they had to go through perhaps as many as six IVF cycles. Six IVF cycles, nobody wants to do that. The quick answer today is you don't need to do that. First of all, at Dominion Fertility, using today's modern technologies, we expect a live birth rate, not pregnancy rate, but a live birth rate to exceed 50% every time we transfer one embryo, not 65% after six cycles. That was then, and things are, are much better now. So things have gotten better. Our knowledge has gotten better. Our technology has gotten better. So if you fast forward to where we are today, in most of our patients, when we get a pregnancy rate that exceeds 50% per embryo transfer of a single genetically normal embryo, one or two embryo transfers, and most of our patients here at Dominion Fertility are pregnant and gone. I always say, send me a picture of your baby. So how many IVF procedures should you undergo? Well, here we go. Let's look at today's technology. These days, most people, if they have adequate ovarian reserve, which means egg quantity, then we stimulate them one time. And from that, we hope to have enough genetically normal embryos where we can produce our entire family. Most people want two babies, plus or minus one. And from a single IVF, stimulated IVF procedure, we hope to get enough embryos that are genetically normal that we can get pregnancy rates that exceed 50% per transfer of a single genetically normal embryo. Dominion Fertility does not transfer embryos fresh from our stimulated IVF program. Because back in 2010, and subsequently many studies have confirmed this, we found that if you transfer the embryo from a frozen thawed state, not in the fresh cycle, you get much higher pregnancy rates. Add to that, more technology, but for the good, okay? We do pre-implantation genetic testing, PGT, which is an embryo biopsy, totally safe if it's done properly. Our embryologists are incredibly skilled. We biopsy thousands of embryos all the time. So now if we take that embryo, we biopsy it, then freeze it, and then transfer a genetically normal embryo, one at a time, we can get most people pregnant in one or two embryo transfer cycles from a single stimulation. So the good news is we have really progressed tremendously in the field of IVF, and so that nowadays, most people who come here anyways, should be rewarded. It's all about the patient, and I always say, show me the baby. That's what it's all about. Show me the baby. We haven't gotten a baby for you. As far as I'm concerned, we have not been successful. Dominion Fertility is committed to stay on the ultra cutting edge. We have been doing IVF for over 30 years. We have great pregnancy rates, as you can see. We care about our patients. We partner with you. We want you to engage us, participate, answer your questions so we can make this as stress-free as possible for you. And show me the baby. Dr. Michael DiMattina, medical director at Dominion Fertility in Arlington, Virginia. Dominion Fertility, making miracles happen, one family at a time.